Posits have been great. If that's what you're asking about. I'll never go back from not taking deposits. I swear, every time I haven't taken a deposit, it's part coincidence and part being a newer business. Shot myself in the foot so many times. Talking about deposits would actually be really helpful because I've been doing it for about a year now. Um, and I've done both. I've had no deposits and that's worked out well. And I've taken deposit and that's worked out very well too. So pros, pros and cons, um, especially like when you're like a mobile business too. Um, a big part of it can depend on your client base. If you get people that are very last minute calling, um, looking around for, for a tent job, that for me, that is what the deposits are supposed to weed out. I don't like, I don't mind doing last minute tent jobs if I have an open spot. The problem has been a lot of people saying yes, 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 yes over the phone, you hang up and then you never hear or see from them ever again. That's it. They just didn't show up. So they took up a spot and then they never came in. So I got really frustrated. I only make so much time available in the day. And if somebody's gonna take up a full spot and not show up, that's, that's a big problem. So when you're a new business, you're gonna encounter that a lot. So taking deposits, really it, it puts some type of a commitment down and it also keeps a line of communication open. So I'm not a stickler here. If they have to reschedule, if they have to cancel, if they give me enough advance notice, I really don't care. It's not about keeping their deposit. It's about ensuring I have somebody to fill the spot. So there will be a point in time where it's like, if you're going to call me an hour after your appointment, no. No, it's, it's a little different there. We can try and figure something else out for a later date. But if you're going to call me, you know, a day before and you're going to say, look, I'm sorry, funds are tight or I just can't make it. I don't know when I got in a car accident, whatever the case, it's fine. Thank you for communicating with me because there's so many people that, like I said, they'll make an appointment and they'll make an appointment at five other tin shops and you'll never hear or see from them again. They got that money burning a hole in their pocket and that's it. So the, the good part about not taking deposits is it can kind of make you a little bit more flexible too. So there were days, uh, especially while I was mobile, We'd run out to a company, we'd uh, try and do a job, and then the customer like, you know, like to do a job and then the customer didn't show up. Well, at that point, if you have enough other companies that you're working for or tinting for or enough, enough leads, then you can try and scrounge up some extra work that day. Or when you go in to do a job that doesn't show up, they have other work going on, chances are that somebody else would be interested in window tint. There are times that that worked out really well and you'd go out to a place for a set of doors, they didn't show up, you're pissed off, and then next thing you know, they have a full day for you. They can make it happen. Woo, that's great. Um, but here, it, it's just, that's not the way I'm set up. So I'm set up for taking longer on a car and if somebody doesn't uh, show up, then that really hurts the overall day. So if I'm gonna set up enough time, I need you to definitely come in or at least give me a good reason why you can't. Or just let me know <laughs> enough ahead of time so then I can rework the schedule a little bit and fill my time with something else, who knows. I could even make a video, you know what I mean? Like, I, I just, there's other things that I can do in the meantime. I have enough things to keep me busy as long as I have things kind of planned ahead. So I've really liked taking deposits. They've worked out really, really well for me. Um, and people haven't been offended either. When you say maybe like one, one out of one or two people out of everybody that I've asked, because it's like, look, 
This is just to ensure that I got somebody coming in. And if they were gonna spend money with you anyways, why would they be offended at leaving a little bit of money up front? And, fun fact, little uh, thing that I noticed as a byproduct of taking deposits, is sometimes it softens the blow of the final bill. So it's like an installment payment at that point. So it can do really good things for you. So if they were on the fence about adding a windshield strip, oh, hey, you left a deposit. Oh, really? So, I, like, I, I literally had that happen. I didn't even think about this till I literally had it happen. Guy with Fusion, super nice guy, came in for carbon, and he was like, you know, I wanted, I'd like to do a windshield strip, but it puts everything over 300, and it's just a little bit more than I want to spend. Yeah, no problem. So he's like, how much... Wait, I left that deposit, right? He's like, oh, okay. So that's actually, I have a little bit more money available than I thought, especially with that deposit. So yeah, add the windshield strip. Boom, thank you, that was great. So if you guys have taken deposits, uh, this will be a video, I think. Leave them in the description. Let me know how they worked out for your business. Let other people know, create a little bit of a conversation there. Thank you so much. And uh, I'll finish tinning this, uh, this Volvo here.